All right, what's up, Dragon Brood? We're going to have some fun today. We're going back a little bit, and we're going to do some Mardu Humans aggro, which is not something we see a lot of, but mostly because we want to play a couple of cool cards that we don't get to play very often. So let's hop into that list, and we're going to start with Lunark Veteran. Why? Well, we kind of want some stuff against the Mono Red and the Hyper Aggro decks, and if we can gain a little bit of extra life, it seems like it'll be pretty good. We're going to play some Recruitment Officer because this lets us get the majority of things in our deck, which is super nice. And it's just a 2-1 one for 1. Of course, we have some Copper Coat Vanguard because we are playing a bunch of humans. Now, I will say I probably should be playing four of these realistically. I just was running out of room. So as we played throughout this video, I'll probably find the spots where I want the fourth one of these to be. So you'll want to check that out at the end of the video because we definitely will have an update. But we got four Get Lost, so we have some removal in here. Uh, we do have a Kellen which is fine. Uh, it does help us get extra card in our hands, but this could probably be where one of the Copper Coat Vanguards are gonna go. We do have three Thalia because we are gonna be doing a lot of legends, but obviously a lot of creatures here. We have three Inti, Seneschal of the Sun, three Adeline to make some tokens, a couple of Brutal Cathars. Not sure if these need to stay either, but we'll see, depends on how the games go. Of course, some Adam Pakal because getting more bodies is better. And we're getting to play Ishin. This is one of the reasons we want to be a Mardu Colors here, because all these things are triggered when we attack. This triggers them again, which is super nice. And that means we also get access to Meshra Claim by Gix. Now, we don't have the other card, the artifact, that lets us turn this into a big Planeswalker, but just being able to attack and drain your opponent for like three or four, two times, plus your actual attack damage, is pretty good. And then, kind of having like an extra Ishin, we're going to play some Roaming Thrones as well. Now, like I said, you'll want to watch it in the video because there's no doubt we're going to have some updates. But when we get there, I'll have a link for you. It'll take you over to Moxfield. You can check out our channel sponsor and get all types of decks for standard, no matter what you're looking for. We have a variety of things over there. However, though, let's hop in right now and see if Ishin and these humans can double down on that damage. Okay, this looks passable <laughs> is what I'll say with this. I mean, we obviously would like to have other things. And that's kind of the downside when we're playing a lot of Legends, but they have a lot of cool abilities. Hmm. I kind of want to be greedy. But I think I'm just going to do this. Because part of me is like, I want to kill a Warden, but it's not necessarily worth it. All right. Hey, those are all going to be tapped. Did we get at least... A reasonable attack in here so that's something uh put that on human we'll go here and here but we'll at least have some buffer on life total i don't know how m much good it's gonna do us but it'll be there That turn, though, was where we really wanted to draw one of our three mana dudes. It would have been really, really nice. Uh, looks like we're going to see a Knight Errant. Nope, they're just going to spry here. Okay, cool. They're going to do it again. Okay. And they left it on top. So, we're kind of faced with the decision of do we just kill the Warden here and attack? which might be our best plan. We could play Inti, but I don't think there's a lot of value though we can just discard Athalia. I don't have a problem with that. We could also leave Athalia back so we could first strike something, which seems somewhat reasonable. Man, this is tough, because I sort of do want to play Inti, but I feel like we're so far away from winning that I'm not even gonna worry about that right now. All right, we'll end the turn. Probably shouldn't give the opponent a chance to scry here, but they have another one anyway. So it wouldn't really matter. Alright. Uh, that works. Man, if I would have known they were going to do that, I might have done it with NT so I could have found a land and still done something else here. But is what it is. They're going to attack here? Or are we just grinding it? Oh, we're going to Knight Errant here. Okay, that's a thing. Hmm. And they're going to tap everything again. 
Nope. They're just gonna attack this time. All right. I guess we have to kill that. I mean, I guess we don't have to, but we're not gonna be able to punch through it either way, so. We just kinda got stuck here without finding any of our big cards. And it's a little bit tough. Yeah, I knew I was giving them those, but like, what are we gonna do? Yeah, Adeline, you might just be a little late here, friend. Um, hmm. There is a real thing here, though, right? Like, we play Adeline. Gain some life. If we attack with everything, assuming they block the two, they take three, go to ten. We'll gain two more life. We could almost empty an attack for lethal the next turn. Ugh. All right. I'm gambling. Okay, they decided to block a veteran, so they're going to take an extra point of damage here. That's not bad for us overall. All right. I can say, now you give everything haste, we don't really care. We have so much life, we're just like, whatever. Opponent's only at nine here. But this is one of the reasons we wanted to have all these Lunark veterans. Being at 27 gives us a lot of wiggle room. Like, you talk about room to operate, we got a lot of it right now. Opponent's just breakdancing with their creatures, I don't know what they're trying to figure out here. Alright, so we're leaving a lot back to not die, which is fair. Uh, I guess we just block the most we can block. Is that correct? Sure, why not? I mean, we're not under threat here, so... I mean, they can scry like three times, I guess. Okay, they didn't, but it was an option. All right, what are we looking at here? Play NT. Discard Thalia? I mean, Kasali doesn't really matter anymore, right? Let's just do this, because this will be more life when stuff dies, because inevitably stuff's going to die. Uh, attack with NT. We're probably just trading this for the Knight Errant, right? They can block a 2-1, they can block a 2-2. Two, two. So we don't even have good attacks except for Adeline, really. So that's a little tough. But yeah, I think we go with it. Actually, that was dumb. I, I needed to not attack with everything else, actually. That was silly. Because the only thing that's going to happen here is maybe some trample damage. Yeah, that's yeah. You can just block those safely. That was a terrible attack. I should have only attacked with that line. Wow, they didn't even block the one one. We just got bonus damage. Yeah, they should have blocked that too. Okay, I don't know how we're gonna get the last four points here. I mean, there may be some weird world where like we get one of the things that double triggers, but we like. NT draw double so we get like double trample or something but like I don't know what else we would do I mean we're just trying to wait out the opponent at this point but we're probably going to die to a big warden I imagine yeah it comes through I mean we have a lot of life so that's the only thing we have going okay well this lets us remove a warden so that's a thought. So remove that thing they put all the work into. Love that. Uh, no. Oh, actually, we could attack with a flyer here. That's cool. I don't have any cards to discard, but that's cool. Yep, sure, you got it. Is we're going to make a flyer? I think for our turn, we probably just... I was going to say, don't cast anything. 
pass the turn. No, we kind of have to. Like, I got to activate NT here, right? They have one, two, three blockers. One, two, three, four. Actually, wait, if we attack with everything, are they dead? Oh, no, no, they have these three twos over here. Never mind. All right. Let's see what we get. That is largely worthless. But we still didn't cast anything, so we get to flip our Brutal Cathar. So now if they target it, they'll lose some life. And we have a First Striker, which is also good here. Yep. So now we can draw another Cathar, which is good. We can... What's the other option we have here? Yep, you got a recruiter, sure. Sounds good. I'll just take six, I guess. Nope, they're not even attacking. Sure, all right. So now we get rid of the other flyer since you cast two spells. And yeah, that's gonna do it, cool. Well, that was kind of a crazy one to start with because I was assuming this would be one of the tough matchups, but we could almost go creature for creature with them. But that extra life gain, I mean, I don't think we went below maybe 23 life or something in this game. So if that's how we beat these decks, great. Okay, we will absolutely keep this. We're just going to put this on human right out the bat. Right out the bat, right off the bat. Wow, why would I say out the bat? That didn't even make sense. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And then uh, let's go ahead and get some Thalia action in there. And I will attack and trade if you would like to trade opponent. Cool. How badly do you want to kill Thalia? This is what we're about to find out. I imagine pretty bad if you're playing blue, but you never know. Oh, a Nine Million Glare. All right, that's one way to deal with that. Okay, we're going to go with this, followed by this. And then we can try to roll Anim Pakal out next turn. All right, they also found their mana. Halo Forge, so we're doing fairies, flyers? I don't really know what's happening here. All right, I guess this is all we're attacking with. Well, they want that bad enough to not block. So when it is a battlefield, you can pay X, but they've already done that. Yeah. Blood letter of Aklazots. That's what they're doing. Well, that sucks. Oh, we look at this. We just top decked this. Oh, so sick. I think we're about to get comboed out, y'all. That was a good pickup. So I think we were about to die. Oh, that's sick. That's a sick rip. I think we're about to get the lose half our life thing. Maybe. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. Nylon glare that. Totally. That makes sense. Have another removal spell here. If not, we're pretty golden. Yeah, unless that last card's a cut down. Yeah, all right, cool. In hindsight, they may not have done the lose your half your life thing, but if you're going to play Bloodletter, you might as well play at least two copies. It looks like they might have just been playing a bunch of flyers in those colors, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was about to happen. Wow, this is probably one of the worst openers we can have with this deck so we're gonna mulligan as many things that we have that cost one and two to have that hand where we couldn't do anything is horrible i think we get rid of one lunark veteran out of this hand because cather is at least like some type of removal then we have adam bacall so eh, better than nothing I mean, to be fair, the opponent's probably just going to play a bat and take our Brutal Cathar anyway, because we hadn't seen a bat yet today. And those things are everywhere. 
And there are plenty of two mana things we can draw. Uh, we're playing against this thing again. All right. Well, we have some of the cards that are good in this fight. Get lost in Brutal Cathar to get rid of uh, Wardens, if that's what they're playing. But we need a two mana thing here pretty badly. Almost any two mana thing would be good to wear a deck spell, but we, we need to hit one. All right, they got their mana. Oh, they're going a little bit of a different route. I have seen this a couple of times. Playing Baird and usually playing like War Leader's Call, stuff like that. So, possible. This, this could be interesting. Which I also like since we have Get Lost. If we don't get a two mana thing, then I might use Get Lost just to get rid of like the uh, War Leader's Call and then maybe use our creature to get rid of bear might be what happens here no blocks uh, also just fair advance warning if this particular section of the video has a lot of choppy cuts because the opponent's been playing kind of slow using their rope for pretty much every action but not that i'm saying that's particularly bad i mean they're welcome to do that it's just i don't want y'all to have to sit through all that Okay. I think what I want to do is kill Baird. Even if they spend their resources to pump the Warden. We're not going to... Okay, well, they're not going to do that now. So that makes that play even safer. Awesome. Love it. Uh, we had kind of a crap hand, but... This is at least somewhat coming together. Alright, we got a Sundown Pass. Get rid of the Warden. We gain a life and then can get in there for one. That's kind of nice. Alright. Gonna make three one ones. Nope, they're just gonna pump up an Inspector. But there is a Sanguine Evangelist on top. Alright. That's real. Yeah, we ain't blocking. Sweet. Love to see that. They didn't cast anything. But we get bonus damage in here, which is great. They could flash something in if they want to, but we wouldn't care. Alright. And then now, if we can find something with Thalia, we could play two things next turn. And then steal their stuff, and that'd be even better. Or we could just not steal their stuff, and that's an option, too. Okay. So, we attack with Anampa Call. They block. We have to save it with the Plaza. That's unfortunate. But that might be our only real play here. All right. Tis what it is. I mean, we are getting enough life to not care here, so it's fine. Anytime you see an attack like this from your opponent, you know it's suspect. When they're like, why would the opponent just attack in when I have all these blockers? Well, friend, let me tell you a story. Yeah, they're just making the safe blocks that are giving something else up. Can't blame them for that. I'm just going to end the turn here. Since they're not able to play multiple spells and we still might want to save something. I can Thalia and something, hopefully, on one of these coming turns. Yeah, that's whatever. Like, you do you, friend. I mean, they do have the issue that this is about to be three more attackers alongside Anampakal next turn. Ooh, we could also just let this Anampakal die. That's, that's another option. Okay. Um, hmm. All right, well, let's attack, 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 attack. I mean, some number of those is getting through, right? All right, block in there, block in there, block in there. Oh, they're just trying to keep max creatures so they can try to finish this neck. We're at 23 opponent. We ain't dying to that. Just letting you know. So they're going to take seven? I'm down. And then I guess under the circumstances... 
we just... Crap, did we just not do anything? So I'm like, they play this. There could be another creature. So let's assume they have something else, right? So that'll be at least three power. We'll call it four just in case. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, because it only gets one. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. But we could also first strike some stuff and block or whatever. Um Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I think we just play Thalia and pass. That gives us another point. Yeah, I don't I don't think we do anything else. And if they play two spells here, next turn we get to remove a blocker, so... Sure. Like, this is the crazy part, playing is exactly. Like, this is the second time. And it's basically been... Okay, fine. You know what I mean? Like, you do what you're gonna do. And we're just gonna gain a bunch of life, so your attacks don't really matter. Uh, Alright, so they'll go to two... Yeah, I'm down with that. I mean, they, they did get him another blocker. But I don't think it doesn't, or attacker, it doesn't do anything, really. Because we get the first strike, the big one, and then we'll just block some other damage. Yeah, that's fine by me. We weren't under threat of dying at any point here. Take our turn. We'll just attack. All right. That's going to do it. All right. So that's two times where they didn't even have a bet. And this version is a little bit different than the first version. But both times they had pretty reasonable draws. And our last opponent got like multiple recruiters off and everything. And we just didn't die. So... I, I'm tempted, this again, small sample size, but I'm tempted to call this a de at least a decent matchup, if not a good one. Okay, we'll keep this. It's not, I mean, we can't play Ishin yet, but, uh, uh, that card, huh? This is tough, because I feel like I sort of know what we're up against. Hmm. Valley is going to be solid here. I think I'm going to give up Ishin, sadly. I know it's what, one of the reasons we kind of... Ah, and I almost got rid of a land. Gosh, dang it. But we didn't have black land in hand, so I was like, I don't know. Is this even worth a damn? Like, you know. That sucks. Ah, well. Things happen. I mean, that being said, we still wouldn't be able to cast this in here anyway. So removal's definitely coming down on Thalia. They don't want us to have that. That much we do know. Okay, deck. We need to stop drawing land. Like, that's a cute trick, but we do not need all this land. Shieldred time? Oh, Liliana time. Fair enough. Enough with the mysteries. I've come. Sure, so opponent's just going hardcore on discard things, maybe? Alright, we'll kill you. Might as well play the land. I mean, I guess I could have held it in case there's another Liliana or discard thing, and then, like, we lose the Cather, but, eh, Probably doesn't matter that much. We're obviously hoping to draw other things. I mean, we would have found a land to be able to cast Ishin finally, but, you know, that wasn't going to be a thing. Here comes Shieldred. I don't know, they might just go for another Liliana. But Shieldred would make sense. I mean, they got a good draw here. If we're going to lose, this this will probably be... Is this going to be our first loss of the video? Probably. But we definitely did not get the aggressive start. So this is kind of, I imagine, the perfect situation that they would want from us. Or at least from their deck. And we attack. I mean, kind of have to hope their hand's just junk. Nope, they're going to kill the Cathar and get their Duder back. Fair enough. Alright. 
What are the odds that we find another one? Or are you just holding removal cards in hand? That might be the case. Big C. Oh, uh, well, that's no good. All right. Well, now we're just dead. Uh, we could probably play through, but we know what's in their hand or whatever. So, or not what's in hand, but what's on top. Okay, this is uh, this is the type of solid start we're looking for here. So let's put this on human. We'll put this other courtyard on human. Probably play Thalia, and then possibly just play Inti. I don't know yet. We'll see. Put that also on human. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. I guess I should have attacked with the recruitment officer first, because they may not have killed it. But we'll see. They could also just have another cut down here for Thalia. That would make sense. Looks like that's the case. Nope. Just a Dread Knight. Well, guess what? We can at least attack into a Dread Knight, and that's awesome. So we will attack here. Discarding, let's say, a planes. Ooh, we can play a Lunark veteran. That's cool. Get the first strike that guy and deal a point. That's like the best of everything. Play that on human. Go ahead and play that new card we found. Don't sweep our board, please. Don't sweep our board, please. I would appreciate that. Okay. Let's see if we can lead with Ishin, and we'll try to double up some NT triggers here. Unless they just want to kill Ishin, which, you know, also makes sense. Yep. NT wasn't going to make it. <laughs> That's okay. We kind of knew. Uh, we'll put this into play. Okay, now we're going to find a removal card because it's probably about shielded time. Nope, they're just going to draw here. Okay. Well, this is not helping us at all. And we can't protect any of our legends here because we don't have any plazas in play. All right. Time for Thalia to go, they said. That was enough of that. Let's find one of our three mana token makers here. That'd be sweet, right? Let's do that. All right. Well, that's not that. <laughs> but the opponent is at six. But I'm going to assume there's a shield red somewhere, right? Well, now I got a plaza. Uh, let's not and say we didn't. Oh, are you kidding? Come on, man. We're drawing endless lands. They can also activate their creature land now here, too, which is tough. Uh, this gets indestructible... And hexproof, so sure. I mean, you do what you're gonna do. Oh, finally, <laughs> on the 11th hour when we don't need it, <laughs> but we do get two triggers, so there you go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we could go first. We can play NT. We can be okay. Yeah, this hand checks. Why not? I mean, if they kill some of our stuff, they kill some of our stuff. I mean, we have a Cathar, which could. I mean, their stuff all has haste, but at least, you know, we could remove stuff that's attached to it or whatever, which is fine. Gonna kill that? Makes sense. No argument from the peanut gallery here. Ooh, that's not bad for next turn. So if we do remove something, we could play veteran first. Play the Cathar, remove something, gain a life. Attack with Adeline, get a token, gain a life. That's actually pretty good against mono red. I, I'm, I'm not mad at that. 
Like, that's a nice setup. I mean, we're going to take a hit here, which is going to be unfortunate. Yep, pump, pump it up. All right, we take six. This is a totally serviceable situation. Actually, this isn't bad either, but we're going to go here. We're going to go here. We're going to attack to gain a life. And then that also unlocks Mishra. So we can actually get some life gain back that way too. So, And the, this puts it, kind of the onus on the opponent, right? Like, what do you want to get back here? Right? Or you get, want to get a creature? Does that make sense? Probably want to kill a Lunark veteran if you have the ability to. Because, you know, us gaining life is bad. Yeah, I'll take nine. Sure. I mean, we got a plan here, I think. Ooh, wait. Hold on. Play this. Play this. Gain two. Go to nine. Attacking with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ah, wouldn't kill them. Close, though. Damn close. All right. Feeling pretty good at 13 life here and two solid blockers. Mishra just says, F your couch. For those of you who don't know, that's a Rick James reference. Go look it up on, on the Google machine. Yeah, this is all life gain here. Like, you do what you got to do, opponent. But I have a feeling them boys is just blocking. Well, even them blocking doesn't do anything. We'll have more than enough attackers. Yeah, that's nothing. Sure, I mean, I guess I could block this for sport. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, no removal of any kind, so we're just going to have to hope our cards do what they're supposed to do. But uh, we'll we'll see about that. All right, let's start with Thalia, which I'm assuming either just dies here or there's a Liliana to get rid of it. <laughs> but that's fine. What else are we going to do? No, but there is a Preacher. That is interesting. Huh, so what do we want to play here? I feel like Anampakal might be the answer. This is tough. Because, like, if Shieldred comes down here... Okay, Liliana. No more distractions. Let's make this work. Yeah, that's mostly fine. I mean, we have another Anampa call, so it doesn't matter greatly. Alright. So. Hmm. Why do I feel like I'm setting ourselves up to get our board swept if we do this, though? We're going to have to discard something next turn. I want to go here and here. And then I don't know how this goes. I mean, there's a bunch of cards here. Like, yeah, exactly. All right. That's what I was assuming was going to happen. That's why I almost played something more expensive, but yeah, we're, we're just dead here now, right? Drop it. Sure. Yeah, that's not cutting it. <laughs> we needed something else we could play alongside this for a turn. Now we're just dead. All right. We're not coming back from that. We can, we can give that up. Ooh, okay, sure. But we'll try to make something out of this. I mean, we can put this on human. Play this little duder. 
play Thalia, then hope to draw something good? Very tempting to want to just play Kellen here, actually, to load our hand up, but this might be fine. Okay, I guess we're attacking. And we'll play Kellen. Hope to not get our... Well, we won't get our board swept here just yet. Um, Might as well play this. I don't even know why there's a mountain. This should just be a plains, actually. We don't really have a use for, for a basic mountain in this build. All right. Anim Pakal goes in. We attack with Kellen, Officer. I don't think we attack with Thalia. Don't think there's enough of a benefit. Uh, yeah. We'll take the action. That can just go in the graveyard. I mean, obviously, stop Kellen. Yeah. I mean, alright, unless you don't want to... I mean, maybe. Us digging deeper could be a thing. I don't know. Depends on how they see it. Now, one of the best things that could happen to us here is for them to play Path of Peril and leave us with just Animal Call because then we'll get to trigger with Ishin twice next turn, which would be pretty nice. It'd be a dream situation, if you will. Now... If they only play something like Shieldred here. Nope, it's another Graveyard Trespass. All right. Because I was thinking maybe we do something else. Hold on to this. Uh, get lost. Oh. Well, that's a thing that works as well. Put that on Human. And then I think we're attacking with one, two, making three more bodies, and just sitting back with the Animpical, I think. So if I attack, they have to double block. We only get to kill one of them because this becomes a four. Yeah, we can't try that till next turn. All right. I mean, I guess if we were attacked with everything, but even then only five, six, seven would get through. So, not really worth it. Alright. And now we're not as worried about something like a uh, Path of Peril. No Gix's Command, because we still have Thalia out. But the opponent's only at seven now. So they have to kill Anipakal, step one. Yeah, I was going to say, that has to happen for them to survive here. Uh, what else are they looking? Oh, they, they could attack, I guess. But that, you're just dead if you attack. Yeah. Oh, well, you might be dead not attacking as well here. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Before we even got to damage. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, sure, we'll try. Oh, the opponent actually has the same little doggo I have in the same color. I guess, it's a, I don't know, it's like a fox with three tails. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to be reminiscent of Tails from Sonic. I don't know what they actually think that's supposed to be. Honestly, I just know I've had it for a long time. Y'all never see it because it's tucked behind my little face cam. Come on, Lance. There we go. Get some damage in there. Now, if we can get another multi-land, that would also be very sweet. Oh, man. They didn't have anything there? Woo! This might be a quick one. Opponent just says GG's. All right, cool. That was a turn four kill. Yep, keeping it. There's going to be some skeleton action. It is skeletons. All right. So we need to find either life gain stuff or Thalia's to be able to first strike some skeletons. 
kind of the situation we're in, I think. Bats, congratulations, you got choices. I assume they'll take a copper coat vanguard because it makes it harder to kill everything else. But Inti does give stuff trample, so who knows? Alright, that's what I thought. That was my initial thought, that they would take that. Um... Hmm. So now I have to decide how bad I want to block this thing right now. I feel like... We do want to block. Just the way things were, I figured why not. Because they probably play something that gives us the hasty bats here. Or a skeleton, I should say. Alright, so they're going to kill that. Get that back. Makes sense. Alright, so do we actually get to do anything with an Anim Pakal? That's question number one. I mean, they know we have two of them. We know we have two of them. They don't know we have Mishra yet. We kind of just need one to make it, right? If it's... Oh, they have white mana? Those decks almost never play white. Ooh. Yep, there's another bat. That's tough. They're going to take our Mishra. Dang it. I mean, there's no contest here, right? You got to take Mishra. Unless they are going to kill the Anim Pakal. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I don't know any other situation that would work make sense there. Yep, we lose more life. Oh, they're just going to gain more life. In it. That makes sense, too. All right. That's the next best thing, then. If they're going to take that, we'll go with it. All right, now is this enough? That's, that becomes the next question. Is this enough to get us across the finish line? I don't know. Another Roaming Throne, an Ishin, the other uh, Mishra, all of those would be pretty good here. Yep. Corpse. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, and another one. That actually hurts. Yeah, because now we can just block here. That's not going to be nearly enough. We only have one real out here, I think. Not that. Or a removal card would have worked, too, I guess. Would have bought us some time. So we're taking two in the air. We have to leave back some number of blockers, right? And to trigger this, we have to attack with some number of non gnomes all right so i'm gonna attack with this this we're gonna get one two three four five six seven gnomes here that's 11 12 damage we can block three on the ground all right i think this is all we can do And we can play this so we can protect the Anapakal. And we just have to hope they can't find two points of damage somewhere. Oh, dang it. That's it. I should have left one more creature back. I, I gambled and I, I was incorrect. Oh, wait, no. This is still fine, actually. For some reason, I thought there was one. This guy doesn't have haste. Yeah, this works fine, actually. We're at two. Bonus of 14. We definitely have more than 14 attacking. Wow, I didn't think we were going to come back from this. Like, that was a rough start. And I'm getting double corpse. But, uh, yeah. That's just going to be it. We're in there with everything. GG's. Wow. Ooh, that was, that was a good close game. Damn. Yeah, this one was tough because we really didn't cast that many cards. You know, all of our stuff got taken. We realistically, if you think about it, only cast four things. We cast Officer, Inti, which both died. And Anim Pakal followed by a Roaming Throne. 
somehow we still got there. <laughs> so, hey, sometimes things just work out. Okay, so where, how do we feel about all this? Like, Mishra was really good. You know, I like Mishra. I feel, though, like, Ishin is fine, but no better than Roaming Throne. And admittedly, Roaming Throne costs one more mana and all that. But Roaming Throne does have Ward, but does allow us to trigger everything else, right? So Lunark Veterans trigger multiple times. Brutal Cathar can get rid of two things, right? So there, there's a few extra things we get out of Roaming Throne that we don't get out of Ishin. So as much as I like playing Ishin, I don't know if that's the card we want here. I almost want to take out Ishin and play another either Mishra or Roaming Throne and another Lunark Veteran and just go to 61 cards, I think would be better for us. Because here's the thing. We won a lot of games just because of Lunark Veteran, right? If if you're playing against Mono Red or you're playing against the Boros token convoke stuff, Lunark Veteran in this deck, like you just gain six or eight life, they can't kill you, right? And that's the biggest thing. Because then we have enough blockers and, you know, we can cause all kinds of problems. The other thing is, I kind of wanted more Copper Coat Vanguard, but again, don't have room. Almost wanted more Brutal Cathar, don't really have room. To that end, we could get rid of Kellen. I mean, we're only playing a one of anyway, and I'm okay with that. Cutting the two Ishans. Uh, intuitions. Nice. No, but two Ishans. And I think this putting us down to this number is okay. Because now, again, one Lunark Veteran, one Brutal Cathar, one Roaming Throne, even though Mishra seems really, really nice, I wouldn't have, mind having another Mishra. I think I'd rather go with a Copper Coat Vanguard. However... I will say, if you want to go for style points and you want to just go over the top, go ahead and cut that last Copper Coat Vanguard and play another Mishra. Because Mishra is nutty in here when you get to attack. Like, each time we attack with Mishra, I think it was like 7 plus damage or something. And then if you have a Roaming Throne or whatever, and it's just double, it's silly. Or just maybe play more Roaming Throne. I mean, that's, that's the other reality of the situation, too. But this gives us more removal, more life gain, bigger creatures. We are susceptible to things like... Uh, you know, if you want to, like, the Path of Peril, also Temporary Lockdown, you know, because all of our, a lot of stuff is pretty cheap. So we do want to stick the Adeline, the Brutal Cathar, right, our bigger stuff, because that's harder to remove. But yeah, as long as you play safely, be careful with the stuff that's out there, I think you're going to do all right. I don't think we need basic Mountain or basic uh, Swamp in here. I think we just, just play Plains, because realistically... The only things we are trying to cast with red and black mana happen to be things we can cast with these other lands anyway, right? There's no reason to have basic lands in here. Like, if we get stuck having to fetch a land, like, all right, we'll just wait till we draw planes. I mean, we have 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 lands that effectively let us cast these other things. Even if you don't count these seven because they're only red or black, we still have another 10 for six cards. Uh, actually, that's not true. For nine cards. So that's still fine, and I think we could live with that. And NT's digging, and, you know, there's all that. But yeah, overall, this was really surprising. Still really good. Uh, strategy, I think you can still dig into. Some of you probably already have all the cards for this, so it should be pretty easy to build. But like I said, I do think there's room for another Roaming Throne if you want to go there. I think it works in this deck very well. Unfortunately, the only spots I can think to cut are either a Lunark Veteran or a Copper Coat Vanguard, because I don't think you want to cut everything else, and Get Lost is almost too good to get rid of, if we're being real. But what we're going to post up for the final list is going to be four Veteran, four Recruitment Officer, four Copper Coat Vanguard, four Get Lost, three Thalia, three Inti, three Adeline, three Brutal Cathar, four Adam Bacall, two Mishra, claimed by Gix, three Roaming Throne, two Igonjo, five Plains, three Caves of Coilos, three Battlefield Forge, one Sundown Pass, four Cavern of Souls, two Plaza, and four Secluded Courtyard. And if you want to see a fun Rakdos artifact deck we just played, we played Oni Cult Anvil with that new Extruder, and man, we won so many games we shouldn't have won because of that. It's a cool combo. You should check it out. Let's all have you for now. We'll see you next time.